What do we got here? Looks like a bunch of Zotac. P-106-90 mining GPUs. I got 11 of them. Looks like they're in pretty good shape too. So I got 11. I'm going to be putting it on, putting all of them in this rig right here. I already have one just sitting in here just testing. But what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to flip this rail around here because you know the GPUs are so short they don't have anything to sit on. So I'm gonna have to flip the rail around. I mean I could always you know put them like that as well, but uh, since the fans are already back there and stuff, I can it's pretty easy. I can just flip that around, cut some cable ties and stuff. Um, the only thing I'm really concerned about is this particular motherboard is the one, I believe, that the one of the PCIe controllers is bad, so only half the ports work, half of the slots work, the PCIe slots. So I'm going to have to probably utilize this splitter in some way, like I already am. I was just goofing around with it, but probably, I'll see if I can get all 11 on here. I'm hoping and and actually working this is that motherboard I've had problems with though so I got plenty of power this is a 850 here 1200 here but probably won't even need this probably just use that 1200 back there and that's it so let me get started be able to that's 9 and then 10 11 so the way it's configured right now it should work I'm thinking that it'll work I forgot to mention what I was going to be doing with this rig so we're going to have 11 of the P10690 mining edition uh, GPUs for mining Ethereum Classic. I'm going to just dedicate this rig to Ethereum Classic. We're gonna to try to see how long it takes to break even on the parts because the GPUs were only $38 each. So we're gonna check that out and see if we can uh, break even on this in a short amount of time with Ethereum Classic. We'll see how that's gonna work out though. modified this rail, drilled a bunch of extra holes, used self-tapping screws to fit more GPUs on this one 6 GPU VETA frame. that flipped around so you can see now how the, the GPUs are going to sit up here like this 
some of some of my risers don't have pads on the bottom so I'll have to like wrap this in electrical tape or something but that's how it's gonna sit I'll have to raise up this bar a little bit here this bar right here I'll have to come up a little bit I'll uh, adjust that in a moment all right I got a few of them in already need the USB for this one but looking all right a little close we knew that going in but uh, these run pretty cool from what I understand so I think that we might be all right uh, let's see what else was there oh here's what I did on the for the ones that don't have the pad underneath I just put some electrical tape on here hopefully that's good I did power them up and it seemed like everything was okay so we'll see how that works out I've already started building the rig. I've got a lot already put together, but I want to show everybody like how to put together one specific uh, GPU, you know, system or the riser and all that stuff. So you got the six pin here. This is just the extension cable for the to the power supply PCIe. Here is the PCIe splitter. This is 8 pin to 2 8 pin. And with these GPUs, I'm going to be able to use one splitter basically, and this is pretty much the way it is for, for pretty much all GPUs, that at least the ones I have, the lower power ones. You'll have two uh, 8 pins. One will go to the riser and then the other one will go to the GPU. You'll see here, this is the riser. I think this is a 009S version, 9S version. So you got eight pin, but you only need six. So you let the two extra pins there just kind of hang off the side whenever you connect it. It's fine like that. And you connect the USB cable. And that's kind of like one one rig, pretty much without the without the GPU itself. You need the USB cable and then the power cable. And that USB cable is not like a USB device. It's just carrying the signal and the data, and that's all. That's all. It's not like a, U, a USB device. Here's the GPU. It only has one six-pin power. We just slide it into the riser here, lock it in, once it's all the way in. And then that one GPU gets the other side of the Y splitter there, but again, it only, it's only a six pin, so you let the two extra, extra pins slide off to the, to the left in this case. Get everything lined up here. Tighten it down. And you can see the USB cable here going into the riser or the adapter, not the riser. And then you can't really see the power supply here, but there's a 1200 watt server PSU in the back there. That's where I connected it. And then at this point, we're all done. This is a few minutes later after that last one. We'll do cable management later. I just wanted to get everything mocked up and verified. And you might be wondering, your your OCD might be going off here. Why did I skip that one PCIe slot? And it's because it doesn't work. So uh, that's the one, or at least one on this board that just doesn't work. And then we're over here in Hive OS. 
and you can see that everything looks good. I got one GPU on this other rig that's probably needs repasting or something, but it, it's always it's always hot. And we are mining ETC at 235 mega hash. Here's all the GPUs showing up the same. I've got one here that gets a little bit less mega hash than every every all the other ones with the same setting. So maybe I might try to throw a little bit more power at that or something and see if see if I can get it to to operate the same as the other ones. Could just be silicone lottery there. I don't know. But it does have the same settings here, so I haven't checked like serial numbers or anything like that to see if it was from possibly a different batch or whatever. I haven't done any research on it at all. Just plug it up and make sure it works. I need to get a power meter on this on the wall to see what it's actually pulling from the wall. But it doesn't look too bad. So what I plan on doing here is documenting this part of the journey and I'm going to probably create a Google Sheet and track the cost of the, the rig and then monitor how much we make and find out when you know the break-even point is uh, and just continuously mine Ethereum Classic unless something crazy happens and we're not able to for whatever reason then I'm going to see how long it takes to pay off this rig so uh yeah if you if you thought that this was useful or entertaining or any of that stuff you know what to do see y'all next time stay savage everybody